Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Tonight News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be the next Hockey NHL Team Preview, the Ottawa Senators edition. Just put up a video on Brady Kachuk's extension. If you want to check that out, go back on my channel and check that one out. I will also link that video at the end on the end screen in this video as well, if I am able to figure out how to do that. But this is going to be the Send Season Preview after a great news for Ottawa Senators fans that they were able to extend Brady Kachuk. But let's get into it. When it comes to the Senators, other than just Brady Kachuk, there's a lot of young talent on this team already and the potential to get more because, of course, you guys have your own first-round pick this year, two seconds and three-thirds and then three-sevenths, but that's not as important. But the second, the extra second and the two extra thirds definitely leave you room in trade bait to move up in the draft around draft time or to even get guys that you want, especially with third round pick, that fall out as youngsters in an organization that maybe you think you can bring in that will mix in well with the Shane Pintos of the world and the Drake Bathersons of the world, the Josh Norris's of the world, the Brady Kachucks of the world, the Tim Stutzlas of the world, Four Mentons of the world, and all the other young cats you have that are going to be coming up as well, like the Ridley Craigs down the line, excuse me, so you're going to have all that, I think this team definitely is starting to finally show that they're building up and building a great foundation, that they've been showing that, you all have been showing that for the last few years, but now it's finally coming to fruition in the NHL level, where I think sooner rather than later, we're going to see a successful Ottawa Senators team again, and it's going to be a run of actually some successful hockey because of this good young core you have developing in Ottawa. Now, this year, I don't think that's the year that that's going to happen, and it's going to strike for the Senators to be one of the playoff teams, obviously. They have them projected, when it goes to the hockey news, as sixth in the Atlantic, which is obviously moving up a little bit. And I think you guys are going to continue to move closer and closer to 500 because that's the goal here. You want to keep getting better and better and building and budding. But obviously, the big thing to how close you're going to be able to get to that is what the hell Matt Murray's able to do at this point of his career. Is he able to kind of reestablish himself and play like a microcosm of the old Matt Murray? Because obviously, Anton Forsberg is a journeyman. You're not going to, he's just a third goaltender. And then Philippe Gustafsson is going to be your future goalie at this point. And it seems like he's going to be a very successful future goalie, but you don't want to have to overtax him if Matt Murray sucks. So a big thing on this season and how close that team's going to be able to move into that 500 mark is going to really be on the success of the veteran goaltender, Matt Murray, because to be quite honest, it's odd to say this, but I have a lot more confidence coming into the season in the youngster, the guy that's not even fully proven yet at the NHL level, at every other level, yes, in Philippe Gustafson, than I do actually in um, Matt Murray. So that's the, that's a problem in its own right. But when it comes to the rest of this team, you were able to bring in, of course, a veteran guy, nothing special, but Nick Holden just to kind of be there. He's been around the pipe before. He's been on a bunch of different teams. He's a good veteran to have, to have around your young defense like Victor Mete, like Artem Zub. So you can have people, even Tomas Shabbat, to have the veteran that's been around the league and all that in the locker room. And you have Michael Delzato as that too. So I think it's always good to have those guys in your locker room around your young core down there. Plus you got Lassie Thompson, who's a good, already possesses the puck well and plays the puck well. He just needs to get more efficient in his own end. And he could be a nice defenseman fairly soon. Jacob Bernard Docker, of course, already looked good in his nice cup of coffee. So you have defense more coming up too. So it's always nice to have those veterans that can kind of integrate these guys and make them feel more comfortable when they first come up. And then another young guy is obviously, um, you got Parker Kelly as well, who is going to be sporting. It looks like number 45, according to Cap Friendly this year. Only was able to play one game last year. See what he's going to be able to do as he comes into fruition this season and gets more time. So I like watching this team. I think it's going to be a fun team to watch. Heck, I wouldn't be surprised if you guys get off to that really strong start, similar to, say, a surprising Blackhawks team because they were fueled by their young talent last year that stepped up for them because this Senators team has a lot more potent, the upper echelon of the like Tim Stutzlas of the world, the Josh Norris's, the um, even the, um, what's it called, Alex Fermentons of the world, and obviously the Drake Bathersons. You have more of the t upper tier 
young talent than that Blackhawks team had that was able to get off to a hot start. I just don't see this team here yet to be able to contend, to be able to be in a playoff spot. But being projected six is moving you up definitely a little bit. So you're getting there, you're getting closer, and that is exactly what you want to see out of the Senators team. I think you're going to see improvement out of the young core and out of everybody, even the Fermenons of the world, who's taken a little bit longer than people expected, but he's 22 freaking years old. He still has a lot of time to develop, not even in his prime years yet. Shane Pinto did good when he first came up, still only 20 years old. So I'm excited to see what he's able to do and what Norris Stutzla and the other youngsters are able to do. So this has been an Ottawa Senators season preview. I hope you all enjoyed it. I think you guys are going to have a successful season in terms of what you want to see. Everyone you want to see develop, I think, will. And then you maybe have some surprise guys, just like the Blackhawks did last year and the Kurashevs and others of the world, that were able to kind of expedite that rebuild process in their minds and move it along a little bit quicker. So, I think this will be a good season for the Ottawa Senators, all things considered. So please subscribe down below if you enjoy the content or up above on the easy-to-use widget. Again, I will try to put that Kachuk video linked at the end here if I can figure out a way to do that. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and enjoy the season, and good luck this year, Senators fans. Go Sens.